Hello and welcome to a very special Queensland Weekender. You know in life there are some things that should be savoured and never ever rushed. Good food and wine and I think travel fits into that category as well. So guess what? I've found a trip that combines all of those in one very exciting holiday. But first things first, a welcome party and I can't say I have ever been treated to anything like this on a train trip before. You've joined me at Brisbane's Roma Street Station. It's the starting point for a brand new Queensland Rail travel package called the Queenslander Masterclass. This journey is all about having a great time. Uh, it's all about enjoying the great food and the great wine. The four day trip promises some delicious pit stops. So without further ado, it's time to step aboard the Sunlander. There are some very nice travel perks in Queenslander class. The toiletries, a beautiful robe to take home, wine, of course. And I would like to say and enjoy it, but it's time for high tea. The first class of rail travel, Queenslander class has its own restaurant and lounge car for the exclusive use of guests. And on this journey, we're also being spoiled by a guest chef. What a shock to find you here. <laughs> I'm always in the kitchen at parties. My fellow Queensland Weekender presenter, Mr Andrew Mirosh. The journey is a perfect blend of produce and travel. Every ingredient we use is Queensland. The whole deal is about us and about our state. And you'll get some time to go and spend with all of the, everyone that's out there riding as well? That's the aim of the game, to, to play, to interact and, and we'll become friends. By the time this trip's over, I'll know everyone, they'll know me and it, it builds relationships. And you're peeling asparagus. That's. That's the best trick in the book. You once you try that, you will never eat asparagus that's not peeled again. And a good trick with asparagus is the thicker the better. These little thin bits of asparagus, chuck them away. And Australian asparagus. Our food journey will take us north from Brisbane through to Proserpine and onwards to Hamilton Island. But first, I can't resist the opportunity to introduce the group to one of my favourite ingredients. We are farmers at about Seabine. We have 57 ponds and we can produce 20 tonne of these, these fellows every year, right? Viewers of last week's show will remember the Sherax Park Redclaw Farm. It's based at Gympie and it's run by Peter and Ethel Moore. Thank you, Ethel. They look amazing. Is that your sauce? Did you make that? Yes, I did, actually. Gympie Redclaw is the tip of the iceberg when it comes to tonight's meal. It's just part of an incredible seven-course degustation with options such as free-range confit duck breast, Granite Belt Venison and Darling Downs Wagyu. Rub your fingers together and you feel like baby oil. Mm. Normal beef, your fingers will be dry. Yeah. This melts at a very, very low temperature, so that the temperature in my skin has melted that fat already. Indeed, it's so different from my own personal experience of food and wine, which is barbecues and sausages and veg, three veg. I'm very good at that, but they have all these different tastes and be educated into the different smells and tastes. It's just beautiful. I'm not a foodie traditionally at all, so but I, I'm really happy to learn and I don't know that I'll be able to replicate anything at home, but it's lovely to enjoy. All dishes are washed down with expertly matched wines, courtesy of Cirame's winemaker, Adam Chapman. Wine 4. This is our 2009 signature collection Viognier. Um, people were sort of asking me before, you know, what is Viognier? I mean, well, Viognier is a, a very rare, or pretty much the world's most rarest uh, white grape variety. Um, this lady was saying it's very similar in taste to Chardonnay. True, the weight of the wine, the weight of the, compared to Chardonnay is very similar, but the taste is totally different. If you look at it, you'll see some like citrus oils, uh, you know, sort of apricot marmalade flavors, again, with some lovely oak, you deserve a rest, Mr Mirosh. That was absolutely superb. It was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Oh, it really was. And tomorrow, a little bit more casual because you'll turn teacher. Yep, this is a formal part. It's all over tomorrow. It's hammo time and we're to just cook and have some fun using the best local ingredients. Cheers. I like it. Thank you. I thought love was only true in fairy tales. 